welcome. My name is Rachel, and I'm really excited to be able to be teaching you guys with Beater Horizon today. So let's get started. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to think about a bunch of different animals and how we can relate the animal's body. So the way the animal walks into the world, whether that be a mouse or a hippo, and how that can affect different characters that you may be playing. Whether you may be doing something in school or you just have this character in your mind that you're like, oh, I could work on this and maybe I can write something for it. Or if you just like playing around. This is what this is for. So first let's think about emotions, right? So let's think about sadness, anger, excitement. Let's stick with excitement for a few minutes though. So if you were excited, what would you do, right? Let's, let's give you a situation. You just got an A on your math test, which is a big deal, because like math is very hard. So you're very excited and you're like telling your friends and your family and you're like, oh my God, like, oh my God, I just got an A on my math test. Like I'm so excited, right? And you saw how my body, what I did with my body, I was jumping up and down. I was like, oh my God, like I couldn't contain myself. So that's excitement, right? And you see how your body is showing the emotion as well with your face. It's not just your face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to that. So just hold on to that idea, okay? So let's think about different animals, okay? So what should we start with? And you think about it at home too. Think about it with me. What animals? What's your favorite animal, huh? What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal to play is a squirrel. So let's play with mine first, okay? So first what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk into the world of the squirrel, okay? So just pretend you're a squirrel around your living room. Do it with me, okay? So I'm gonna walk in, you do the same thing, get ready. Are you ready? Here we go. Scurry, I'm getting my nuts. Hibernating. I see someone. Right? Okay, so there's a squirrel, right? So what are some characteristics of that squirrel? I'm out of breath. That squirrel was excited. That squirrel was skittish. If you don't know what skittish means, it means like it was like scared easily, like, ah! you know? Um, it was spontaneous, so it could go in whatever direction it went to. I think it was pretty happy. Pretty happy, energetic squirrel. So, hmm. If someone had a personality that was like pretty bubbly and liked to take risks, I would say maybe that's a squirrel, right? So let's think of another animal. Hmm. A lion. So before we go and pretend we're a lion, let's just think of characteristics of the lion. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about a lion is courage, right? The Wizard of Oz. He had courage and he's confident. He's a big mane, right? A bunch of hair all around. He looks like a king or a queen. And yeah, he's like the ruler of the forest. Hello. So let's embody that, right? Let's do our lion and let's keep in mind all those things that I just said, right? Let's do it. Here we go. Shoulders back, confidence, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna take a minute. You pick your favorite animal. And whether if that's another one, that's if it's one of the ones we already did, then that's okay. Just pick a different animal, okay? So ready, I'm gonna give you that time to try out your own animal right now. And think about the different characteristics as you're doing it. Okay, you could pause the video and do it. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to think about the characters that you may be playing, right? Hmm. So let us think. Well, you know what? Before we get into my example, I bet all of you have seen Frozen, right? I've seen Frozen, it's a great movie. So Queen Elsa, right? What could we 
think of, if there was an animal that related to Queen Elsa, who would that be? Well, what was the biggest thing that I said about a lion? Courage, right? She was afraid sometimes. Remember, she would have her gloves on, and then if they came off, she was afraid she would touch something. But ultimately, she was, she was confident, and she's a queen, right? So if I walked in as Elsa, the lion, who is very like poised and confident, let's do that. Here we go, ready? Right? She's very poised, she's the queen, she's the lion, she knows what she's doing, right? Okay. So now let's take this time to use our example, right? So I'm gonna use an example, Sarah, but if you want another name, we could do Mark. We could do whatever name, just name it whatever you want. And let's give it a situation, right? So let's think about your first day of school, but let's say you moved, right? So you're meeting all these people for the first time. You're a little bit nervous. Um, you haven't gotten used to the people yet. So maybe you walk into the room and you walk into the big lunch room and you see a bunch of tables, you don't know where to sit. So what animal do you think that reminds you of? I think that it reminds me of a mouse, right? Because mice are afraid, they're tiny, they don't take much, many risks. They really don't. Have you ever seen a mouse in your kitchen? I know you have. And you see it and it just like scurries away. Like you look and it runs, right? So it's just really trying not to be noticed. Let's try that. Let's just pretend to be a mouse walking around the, um, walking around the room, okay? And do it with me. Here we go. bring Sarah in, right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make this a mouse slash human Sarah, okay? And she's gonna walk in to the lunchroom and she's gonna take a seat at a table with some people. Maybe there's only one person at the table. So let's use a chair, you can pull out a chair, or you can use your couch wherever you are, okay? So remember, we are still a mouse. So keep your little mouse and sit down here. And then you can look around as a mouse. Here we go. Right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do as I'm sitting on the chair like a mouse, I'm gonna get out of the chair. I'm gonna take away the mouse, but I'm gonna keep that inner life there, right? So I'm gonna keep, what I mean by inner life is I wanna keep the feeling of being a mouse. So the feeling of like putting your body in, because when you're sad and you're scared, what happens to your body, right? Think about it. What happens is your body goes inward and everything starts going inside because you'd rather stay with yourself because you're you feel safer that way, right? So let's try it just as Sarah and then we'll add some dialogue in, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Right? Okay. So now let's add some dialogue in and that's our last step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, can I sit here? Now in real life, I just wanna remind you that you don't ever have to be afraid if you're in this situation in life, right? Because everybody wants to be, people wanna be your friend. People want to be your friend. They wanna see you succeed. And they probably are just waiting to meet you. 
So don't be afraid, but Sarah is a little afraid. So here we go. We're gonna walk in and say, is it okay if I sit here? Okay? And you try it too, here we go. Is it okay if I if I sit here? There you go, okay? So I hope you learned something about how an animal can reflect and like have a lot to do with the way that you can create a character. So next time you have any character from your school or anything or maybe you're in autism drama class or maybe you're just in the drama class at Theater Horizon and you're like, you know what, this character really reminds me of an octopus because they're really flowy and they're, they like go anywhere they want and they're free spirited because their tentacles are super free spirited and flowy, right? Or a bird because they're so graceful and they carry themselves like this and like they, they're, they talk from their heart, they may be a bird, right? I want you to keep that in mind because it can really help and it can make your character different and unique um, than the other characters. Anyway, so my name is Rachel and I hope you guys had a good time because I had a really good time with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy being inside and this makes it a little bit better. <laughs> Bye, have a great day.